Welcome back to Virtual Art Class. Today, we're going to talk about abstract art. Awesome! Wait, what's abstract? I promise you we'll talk about abstract art. But first, do you remember these types of art? The four categories of art. Dun, dun, dun! This is a portrait. This is a landscape. And this is a still life picture. The four types of art are landscape, portrait, still life, and abstract art. I must ask you a question. Hey, what's your question? I must ask you, I must ask you what abstract art is. Oh, you want to know about abstract art. Abstract art is the coolest kind of art there is. Abstract art is so fun because an artist can make anything they want, any interesting lines and shapes, and it doesn't have to look like anything. Check out these interesting lines and shapes in this painting titled Yellow, Red, and Blue by Vasily Kandinsky. Some artists make abstract portraits and they rearrange the facial features or make things look really silly and interesting. Like this painting by Pablo Picasso of his friend Dora Mar. He paints her looking different directions at the same time and uses lots of fun colors to paint her. Is abstract art like real life? No way! Abstract art is like the opposite of real life. Have you ever seen cats like this in real life before? Definitely not, because these are abstract cats called Fantastic Felines, painted by Laurel Birch. Abstract art can be so fun, colorful, and wacky. Sometimes artists make something that looks realistic, like this portrait of me, but they use abstract colors to make it look interesting and different. Like this abstract landscape by Faith Ringgold. Can you see that she used abstract colors for the tree trunks? This artwork is a story of people walking together on their long road to freedom. This artwork by Paul Clay is also an abstract landscape. Can you see what it is? Try looking at the title to figure it out. Ooh, I wanna try. Let's make our own abstract art. Okay, today I'm gonna show you three ways to make abstract art. For these projects, you might need some paint, brushes, water, some thick paper if you're using watercolor paints, and you might want some tape and some salt. That's going to be our secret magic ingredient that's going to come later in our project. But if you don't have paint and you don't have thick paper and you don't have tape and you don't have the salt, we can still do some of these things with markers or colored pencils or crayons, any drawing things that you have. So first we're going to show how to make an abstract art with watercolors. The first way we're going to try is just with painting. So if you have paints, you have watercolor paints, you're gonna dip your brush in water, then you're going to swirl around in the color. Watercolor artists love to start with light colors first. I'm gonna start with that light one, and you can just make any interesting lines and shapes you want on your paper. You can also try mixing colors on your paper. Watercolor artists do not like to have their paint colors get mixed in their paint tray because then the next time they want to use that color, it's going to be all gunky and mixed. So make sure you clean off your brush really well in between each color. I'm going to try orange next. Let's see what happens when I touch it to that other wet paint. Ooh kind of starting to mix on my paper. If you try using watercolor paints, 
and you don't get very much color to come out. Like that, it might mean that you need to mix your brush around in the paint a little bit more. Okay, now it's starting to show up a little bit more. I still think I need to mix it even more. Even more! There we go, there's some nice color starting to come out. How about some blue? If your watercolor paints look like this, that means you need more water on your brush because your paint is running out on your brush. If you have dirty paint, you can wipe it out with a tissue to get it nice and clean again. Now that we've got all of these colors spread across the paper, we're gonna use our salt and sprinkle it on and see what happens to our painting. Ooh. Wow, it's really giving my painting a lot of texture. <laughs> now this time, we're gonna make abstract art with tape. We're gonna take masking tape and lay it across our paper like this and press it on. Now you really need thick paper for this because if you don't have thick paper, it can really tear your paper when you try to take it apart. If your masking tape is having a hard time tearing, you can use scissors to cut it. You can lay it any direction you want. You can overlap, or you can have parts where you don't overlap. Maybe you wanna have it going all the same direction. Another line here. Masking tape does rip pretty easily, so you can just rip it with your fingers by pinching and tearing. Okay, now let's paint over top of that. If you don't have paints, you can also use markers. And I'll show you that in a little bit.
You can also sprinkle this one with salt. If you want to only put it in certain places, you can sprinkle some in your hand and then pinch it and drop it on right where you want it. You can clean up your supplies while you're waiting for your painting to dry. Then come back and carefully remove the tape to see what you made. Try to look for pieces that are on top and peel them off really carefully. Sometimes your paper might rip, but it still is going to look really cool when you're done. Just try to peel it back really carefully. If your tape does make your paper tear, you can tape your paper on the back when you're done taking off your tape. This project is a great one to try if you don't have paint. Because you can do this with any kind of markers you have at home. If you don't have any markers, you can still make the drawing with crayons or colored pencils. Just start by drawing any interesting lines or shapes on your paper. If you can't think of anything, just think of a shape and choose your favorite color and draw that shape. Then think of another shape and draw that one in any color you want. Try to fill in as much color as you can. Let's try a wavy line. How about a twin wavy line? Now I'll fill it in. Just so you know, I don't actually color this fast. This video is sped up so that you can see the finished artwork faster.
When you're done coloring, you can try something else that's really fun. You can splatter some water on your markers and see what happens. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could even try using other things around your house like a spoon. You can just scoop up some water and drip it over your marker picture. 